It's giveaway time! Are you guys interested in winning a Washington football jersey, player of your choice, and some Washington football kicks? Well, you came to the right spot. Juan Gotti is teaming up with Washington Football on Instagram to host a big giveaway. How do I enter this giveaway? All you have to do is follow the instructions that they imply on their Instagram page. Link is in the description. They will be picking a winner during halftime of the Philadelphia Eagles game. Trust me, you guys don't want to miss this offer. A free Washington football jersey that will be vintage and worth a lot of money someday considering the fact that this won't be our in permanent name. So don't miss out on this offer, guys. Guys, trust me and tell Washington football that I sent you guys. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Guy here with another video, and in today's video, we have some more Washington football news. Not more so news, but something that's interesting. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, our Washington football team. And let's get straight into today's video. So today's video, we're going to be talking about should the Washington football team go out and sign Logan? Logan Ryan. Logan Ryan is a cornerback that's been on the market for quite some time, coming off his best season with the Tennessee Titans, who I was surprised that they did not re-sign him. And now that he's been waiting on the market for so long, because he wants to get paid, he's been on the market for so long, no team has been able to budge and wanted him because he wants to be paid a lot of money, he is willing to play safety. So now that he's willing to play safety, should the Washington football team actually attack him and sign him? So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video once again, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, in this case, our Washington football team. And make sure you guys enter the giveaway that we will be hosting on Washington football's Instagram page. They will be announcing the winner of that jersey and free shoes on the halftime of the Philadelphia Eagles game. So make sure you guys go down below and enter that giveaway. You have a chance to win a free jersey. A free jersey player of your choice, whether that's Chase Young, Terry McLaurin, Dwayne Haskins, Tress Way, Nick Sumberg, for God's sake. Just enter the giveaway so you can have a chance of winning a free, a free jersey. And let's get straight into today's video. So, Logan Ryan, let's take a look at his stats. 2019, like I said, he's coming off his best season yet. I mean, we know him from playing with the Patriots, but he's had his best season with the Tennessee Titans. So, 5'11", 195, cornerback position. He's 29 years old, obviously. And 2019, he played in all 16 games. Really good. Played in all 16 games. We haven't had a cornerback that's played in all 16 games in quite some time. Last year, Dunbar was always hurt. Fab was hurt. Um, J-No was just horrible. And then, uh, I guess Jimmy Moore. Didn't Jimmy Moreland get hurt down to down towards the stretch, too? So, we had we haven't had a healthy corner. And he played in all 16 games last year. So, let's take a look at his stats. He had four interceptions last year, zero for t zero touchdowns. But that's not the best part of this, his year. Last year, he played in 16 games, started, four interceptions, 16 yards of the reception returns, and then he also had 113 sacks, or 113 tackles, rather, and four sacks. Seven, 73 solo tackles and 40 assist tackles and four tackles for loss and eight QB hits. So for a guy that's playing in a slot to have eight QB hits, that is a lot. You know what I'm saying? So he's back there. He's coming off the edge blitzing. And then now that he says he wants to play safety, is really a good thing for him. I now he probably sees that a lot of people don't want to pay him that much money to come in there and play slot corner. I mean, we just paid Kendall Fuller ten year, uh, four years, ten million per year, so we wouldn't want to come in. We wouldn't want to have to pay Logan Ryan another guy that's going to play slot that much money too. So I could really see him playing safety. A lot of people said that well, it's no need for him for us to get him because we have Kendall Fuller now. Uh, Kendall Fuller can play safety too, so that's really good. Also, but maybe. Say if we do get a Logan Ryan, right? Say we get a Logan Ryan and we do bring him in. Then we can have Fuller strictly about slot. And then we can have Logan Ryan play safety. We can have the slot depth amazing. Jimmy Moreland, Kendall Fuller, and Logan Ryan. But it's just all a matter. It's just all about will Logan Ryan, you know, take that pay cut. Because he wants to get paid. That's the reason why he hasn't been signed. 
Um, so is it is does he really want to play football more than the money, or does he want the money more than the football? That's that's what it's all gonna have to come down for one Logan Ryan. Logan Ryan's um agent reached out to all thirty two teams in regards to signing him, but no one has got back to Logan Ryan and his agent. His second best year was 2016 with the Patriots. 2016, he played in all 16 games once again, started 13, had 74 combined tackles, 58 solos, 16 assist tackles, and 2 tackles for loss, and he also had 4 interceptions. And he also had 2 interceptions the following year. So this guy is always around the ball. That's really good. So in my opinion, should we sign Logan Ryan? I would do it, but only if he wants to take a pay cut. Now, if he didn't come out and say that he's willing to pay safety with his new team, no, I wouldn't sign him. But the fact that he's interested in playing safety with his new team, I would actually do it. You know, the safety dope is not really that good. Um, outside of Landon Collins, we have Sean Davis, who the defensive coordinator and Ron Rivera loves them. They want, they want Sean Davis to start on this team. I mean, he's from Maryland, so give him a shot. But like I said when we first signed him, I didn't know too much about Sean Davis, so I wasn't going to give my input on him just yet. But a lot of uh, Steelers fans were like, ha ha, laughing at us because we signed him. Like I always say, the coaches know more than the fans, so they obviously know something that's good about Sean Davis than us. So I'm really pulling for Sean Davis. But the Steelers fans were laughing at us for signing him, so maybe it's a bad sign, but we don't know yet. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to pay off. But like once again, the safety depth is still not that good. I mean, we have uh, Sean Davis, Landon Collins, Troy Ackpe, uh, and it also had the Shazer Everett. So we don't have that many good safeties on this roster. And I guess you would throw Kendall Full in there since he wants to play a little bit of safety to when he did in Kansas City. But um, we're paying him to play slot, so I want, would want him in the slot. That's why we can bring Logan Ryan in there. Logan Ryan can instantly be that free safety um, help with Landon Collins. You know, Landon Collins isn't the best cover safety, but he can also, you can always count on him to make a tackle. And just have two tackling machines over top. You know Landon Collins is probably the best tackler on this team. I mean, he led the team in tackles last year. So just to have two tackling machines over top would be really good. Um, Sean Davis, he can really, he has he. Sean Davis is really a good tackler too, but if you have a guy putting up 113 tackles, almost over a thousand tackles in his career, that's really good. I mean, this guy is a great tackler, and I know a lot of people want to say, "Well, that's not we're gonna we're not gonna pay him just to tackle, but that's just we really need that." Say for example, somehow Saquon Barkley gets through our D line, gets past our linebackers, and the last two people to get him down is the safeties. You will want a good form tackle safety in Logan Ryan and Landon Collins. You don't want a safety that's not going to want to tackle him and he just brushes off him and score a touchdown. So that's why it's really important, in my opinion, that we get a guy that can tackle. Not saying Sean Davis can't. Not saying DeShazer ever can't. Not saying uh, Troy Ackby can't. I don't want to sound rude or anything, but you want a guy that's more proof. DeShazer Everett is one of the, if not the best, special teams player on this team. I mean, it's the reason why he's the captain, am I right? Troy Ackby, not really that proven. So we need another safety alongside Landon Collins. We're hoping Sean Davis could be that, but if you want to be safe, I would really get Logan Ryan in here to play safety alongside Landon Collins. But once again, that's just me. Landon Collins needs all the help that he can get, honestly, in the pass catching game. Because we know we know how bad a coveraging safety Landon Collins can be at times. So we need another guy over there that's really good at covering. That's why we probably will put Kendall Fuller back there or one Logan Ryan if we do sign him because they are cornerbacks at heart. So they're going to know how to cover. That's why I really want Logan Ryan. Not saying Sean Davis can't be good, but I have more faith in Logan Ryan playing safety. So with that being said, it's been Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Washington football team. And always, don't forget to enter that giveaway. And let me know how y'all feel about this video down below. Do you, would you sign Logan Ryan or would you just pass him? Like I said once again, I would sign him at the right deal. Maybe a one-year deal for, I would say, maybe $6 million. But he wants to get paid, but there is a reason why he hasn't got paid yet. And so that, so that's why I'm saying we can't sign him to a big deal just yet. So as always, me boy Juan Gotti for the second time. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Washington football team. And tell me would you guys want to sign Logan Ryan or not. As always, I'm out. Peace.